people that have said, you have no idea how much you affected my life. You know, In a good I'm way, a dancer. Way. Yeah, I signed an autograph to Christy Yamaguchi. Mm. I mean, I was like, you really? Oh, okay. Welcome to Dance the Dish, where the dance ends and the dish begins. I am your host, Scott Hislop. I am so excited to be here with our live audience. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys yeah. for being here. Talking with my childhood heroes, three of the stars from Chorus Line, the film. Right here, to my left, we have Michelle Johnston, who played B.B. Benson. Yeah. We have Cameron English, who played Paul San Marco. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And we have Jan Gan Boyd, who played Connie Wong. Yeah. Wow. So Jan, I want to get into it with you um, about your course on experience uh, journey through the, through the film from the audition. But before the audition, you had a little bit of experience with musical theater. Yes, correct? I did. I um, was in The King and I with the old Brenner. And we played at the Pantages in Los Angeles. Wow. Cameron Jeez. English had the job. He came in and I'm like, holy crap, that guy is so hot. I will go after him. I don't care I have a boyfriend. I'm going after that guy. And then he didn't take the job. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> why didn't you take the job real quick? Oh, it was conflicting with fame. OK, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know why it High went High class then. problems. Fame costs. Right here is where you start paying. When chorus line audition yes. happened, there was a line around the block. I mean, there like was Like the movie. So, yeah, yeah, like the movie. Mm -hmm. And Jeffrey Hornaday was there. Richard the Attenborough was there. Richard Attenborough, the director. The director. Anyway, they called my number out, and I stepped forward, and they said, OK, thank you very much. And I thought, oh, I was cut. And I went home. And then there was the callbacks. <laughs> and I'm at home just like, Jane, that would have been a fun job. And my friends call me up and like, Jan, they're calling for you. They're calling your number. They're calling your name. They're looking everywhere you went for home? you. I went home. I thought it was cut. Of course. Because they said, they called my number. I stepped forward. And they go, thank you very much. Well, to be fair, that's usually code for yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> but they out. were talking about the row behind me. Oh. <laughs> but they looked at me. They pulled, so I thought they they pulled a oh chorus God. line on you. Front line, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Oh. And they Whatever did. They did. Yeah, yeah. It's they the did. Right, and you know, right. filming the movie, we rehearsed for two months. Remember, in yeah. July and August, we rehearsed the heck out of our out of everything. Yeah. And so by the time they called all the other dancers onto the stage. We were marking it. And we I was were I was full on doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> then they added a lot of dancers. I don't know how many were there. Maybe a hundred? For the audition sequence? Yeah. yeah. The opening sequence. Yeah. Yeah. We were just kind of marking it. And Jeffrey lost it one day. And he just started screaming at us, screaming at Nicole Fossey, screaming at me. Not me. Uh, not you, <laughs> not you, you guys were in good. And I'm so green and I'm so new at this kind of thing that I just broke down and I was full on like hysterical crying. And Michael Douglas came up to me, he put his arm around me, he goes, come with me to his dressing room. And at that time, <laughs> it's okay to go to his dressing room. <laughs> And I, uh, I remember walking in his dressing room crying. And I'm like, uh. He goes, Jan, you can't take things personally. He goes, it, it's all about the work, and it's not you. You're going to go on to do other things. And when you do, you have to remember that if the director gives you a direction that you didn't think was appropriate or you didn't think you deserved it, he goes, listen and just take it in and see if it fits or not. And then go and do, go out there and do your job. It's a great and moment yeah. to have it with was, Michael Douglas. It was so special. Yeah. Connie Wong, the character. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about playing that character. And first of all, the influence that you had. I don't know if that anyone ever saw an, an Asian female dancer up there representing them. That was, that's I very think special. That's, I think that's what's so cool about this part. At the time, Connie Wong was really the only Asian, 
you know, major character. Representation. Yeah, because before that was Flower Drum Song or Nancy Kwan, and people was, you're the new Nancy Kwan. I'm like, please don't say that again. I have had people that have said, you have no idea how much you affected my life. You know, In a good I'm way, a dancer. Way. Yeah, I signed an autograph to Christy Yamaguchi. Mm. I mean, I was like, you really? Oh, okay. It was so exciting to be a part of like history, so to speak, yeah. and be a role model for all these people who write to me and say, you have no idea how you affected my life as a dancer. But the part was written after Bjork Lee, and she, her, it was written, but it's a little derogatory. In the 70s and 80s, you know, you could get away with it. Nowadays, you know, they're so like, have uh, you, has any blowback come to you, even all these years later, about it being perceived as racist now? Well, it was really hard yeah. to deal with that kind of stuff or be the China doll. And if you look at the movie, my hair is cut like a little yes. China doll, and I had to be the little, you know, yeah. cutesy thing. So the, 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 the famous line, maybe infamous line, uh, Connie Wong, always Wong, never white. That could be perceived as racist now. I mean, I never, we, so back then, as a kid, I mean, of course, I'm looking through my lily white you know, <laughs> eyes and stuff like that. I've got no reference in my life back then. But talk to me about that specific line. So my line um, was, Connie, Connie Wong, Wong, always, always Wong, Wong, never white. white. Bad joke. Bad joke. And then I was to do, I, I was born in 2,643, 4, the year of the chicken. <laughs> and nowadays, you would go, ooh, right. like, that's just a little sensitive. That's right. like maybe, you know, inappropriate. I have had people come up to me and say, you know, um, yeah, that was a little different, but I understand it was the 80s. I'm like, yeah, we got lo away with a lot of stuff in the 80s. And it was written in 1975. It's tough being the tip of the spear, really, because you have all of this weight on your shoulders to be you know, the sole representation. And with that comes these sort of, you know, white writers that are writing this stuff that's not writing from your perspective. Right. So she's even like underplaying her own yeah. self and race. And it's like, when it, now I think about it, like, that's so distasteful. If, you know, it's a real opportunity to, to look at sort of the depths of all of these people. It's really there for us to see, as in, you know, Paul's monologue at the end. But, and even Bibi has her moment where she finally lets out at the end at that same junction of the movie. But uh, it's true. It's very telling what she says. Mm -hmm. she, she, I think Connie was a product of her time. It, she was. So, yeah, I felt like the proverbial China doll. I mean, I love the stories, the ups and downs, and it's it's so good to hear all this stuff. Let's end in something funny. Talk to us about the the final scene in the movie that we see, which is the kick line. Oh my gosh, okay. The <laughs> final scene. They told us to kick for five minutes straight. You guys remember that. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you were there. Time. You're in it. Yeah. I have to oh, come good. into Perfect. the scene. <laughs> I'm just gonna awesome. leave just for a minute. <laughs> okay, wait. I know how obnoxious. Oh, no, no, it's not, not obnoxious. Front, yeah, no, no. Here. Not it's not obnoxious. I'm coming into. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't really oh. matter. So she has a part, a part of this. I was assistant choreographer with Jeffrey Hornaday at that moment. And um, they came to me. Of course, Jeffrey didn't want to say anything to anybody, and nobody wanted to. And they said to me, tell the dancers just to kick and keep kicking until you so until, until you I say stop. So I knew these poor kids would be kicking a long time. And here's here's some dish that they might not like that I'm about to say. But <laughs> let's say you go back and watch the film, and they start she's the or he's you know, and they start and they're just like perfect. And if you really watch, like bless his heart, Tony Fields. starts to drift to drift, drift. and everyone starts <laughs> drifting you know because they're kicking it's for a long and you're on the thing going you're telling everybody keep kicking because they want the the credits to run while we're kicking yes yes so you, wait i have to tell you something that you guys might not know and you might not have caught so helene's on the you know megaphone going you know keep kicking and kick so one point she says kick my friend who i got the gig thought she called cut so we're doing the kicks, the kicks, right? And cut, and she goes, 
<laughs> and then oh she God. looks up, I and then she starts kicking, and it's still I'll in the that. movie. Oh. We, it's yeah. still in well, the movie. That was what I was you have to look for it, but you'll see her. She drops, and then she's like, fuck, and she starts kicking again. <laughs> well, that was the story I was going to tell. Oh, because sorry. Because, no, that was what, story. thanks, Michelle. <laughs> That's it, I'm leaving. I'm <laughs> leaving. <You're crazy. laughs> I think we should toast to kicking until they yell cut. <laughs> yes, I love yeah. it. <laughs> kicking until cut. That's what we just did. Okay. Kicking until cut. And to dance dish. Dance, dance dish. dish.